And can you tell me a little bit about um, what volunteers can expect from a a day to day sort of basis? So, sort of, can you run me through like an average an average week at Bobby Bear? Let's say. Um, Bobby Bear is a bit like the army. You're either full out like a cheetah, or you're waiting. Um, on a Monday, oh, Monday's chaos. Monday's chaos because we're sort of planning the week. And we plan the week, and, and we determine every Monday it's going to happen. It's <laughs> going to happen, but it doesn't. But we try. So on a Monday, there's usually children who have to, or mothers who have to go to an HIV AIDS clinic. There's donations to be picked up and sorted, and there's calls coming in all the time. And the child safety officers are working on a couple of hundred cases each. And I'm not being, they're working on a couple of hundred cases because when it, when a child is raped, the easy part is to go to the police station and kick everybody's arm bits. It's easy. But it's the aftercare. It's the getting the child through court. It's the finding a place for the child to live because South Africa, all the children's homes are chock-a-block. So, the body, you know, and you can't just remove a child, you know, because it's like the child has been punished, taken away from the school, everything they know. And if you have done a case and or you're working with a child safety officer, Monday is sort of a welfare day. Then pack a lunch. Pack a lunch. You guys are so good at interacting with our children. And our children are vulnerable and neglected and they're not used to being cared about. You know, they're not used to somebody saying, what's your favourite colour? So, and then Monday, um, yeah, and then we get through Monday, sort of get the cases that have come in, allocate them as such, and it carries on like that until Friday. And Friday we have the tree clinic for the ladies. And then Saturday morning, which is my favorite, we play with the kids. We check on them. We, we have a medicine box, and in it is only primary medical care. Because in winter, it's terrible for the kids. Because they are left in a hut with a primary sperm. And this is where the children get burnt. You know, I, I had to... One night, Eureka and I, had, we were caught... We were called to a house that had burnt down. And there were two of our tree kids burnt beyond recognition. You know, the granny, because the mother had died, the granny had gone to borrow some money to buy a little bit of food. And while they were sleeping, something brushed past the candle and the whole house burnt down. And it was terrible. You know, and all I could think of was that that was on Saturday night. Well, like, the only thing that comforted me was the fact that they were at the tree that Saturday morning. You know, and up in that village, you know, I stayed there till the morning. And walking around and seeing the chip packets that they got on Saturday morning. You know, the clothes, you could see the evidence of Bobby Bear and the King. So, yeah, you've got you to be prepared to wait, you know, because our social welfare system was invented, put together, produced for the very privileged white people. And when apartheid was down and gone, when we had freedom, the welfare system had to stretch so far that it broke. Mm. So that is also the value of the overseas volunteer is they will question. You know, they, they kind of like Bobby Bears already because they will question. One thing the, the volunteers have to sort of realize is um, they can't arrive at Bobby Bear and go straight on the case. I would, I would never traumatize them like that. 
but they're not aware of our law. Bobby Bears changed a lot of laws in my country, and they're not aware of the law, you know, because we were Roman Dutch law. And then we've got a new constitution, and then there's tribal law. You know, so they have to submit mm. to a bit of training.